In today's video, I remove a plastic on the tank body, separate engine grills, remove more plastic on the turret, I try to fit resin parts, and some resin parts need more adjustments. I add a few details to interior and then destroy everything. In the end, I make minor weathering. Hello fellow modelers, I got a lot of comments from you on how to make a wrecked tank, so here it is. I chose the Zvezda kit first, but it has very simplified gears, therefore I will combine it with the old Revel, and I add a few extra resin parts. Yes, it is a complete interior detail set. I use for separating mold runner, ordinary razor saw as you are used to. The kit is in small 72 scale. But we can do it even so. I bought the resin set at a discount. Otherwise, I recommend some plastic kit in 35 scale with the entire interior. It'll be significantly cheaper than the small 72 scale model. The Zvezda kit is a snap kit, but it has the lovely details. The resin set is prepared for a Revel kit, therefore I have a problem with the correct fitting. So, I must modify the plastic parts, but also the resin ones. Now, I am cutting out the middle plastic supports, because I want to add the details to the interior. So, the tank chassis is empty. Now I am removing a resin from the chassis, because I need separate torsion bars. I use an electric grinder, but even so I must be very gentle. That's all what's left of the chassis. Almost every part requires grinding or complete adjustment. Therefore, the whole process is very time consuming and dusty. If you are working with the resin, I recommend wear the face mask and have a good air purifier. Ok, I made many lovely details into the interior, so now I can cover all with the body part. No, this is not the solution. I must make a lot of holes and open almost all possible sections. I use an electric grinder with a good quality milling cutter. As you can see, the plastic is almost like a butter. I am making final repairs of the shapes with ordinary metal files. Let's finish the interior. I use for gluing resin parts extra thin super glue. I told you that I want to make a wrecked tank, but so far it looks undamaged. I found a lot of photos of destroyed German tanks. It is a good inspiration for how to ruin your model. 
Now I'm drilling out engine fans and ammunition boxes. The tank will be without turret and after a large explosion. So my work is now make a total chaos. You can use spare parts from the detail set, metal sheets, some other pieces from old models and lead wires. I am gluing all these details more or less randomly. So what do you think? Does it look destroyed? If not, the crew was in terrible mess. But you know the German Ordnung, so hardly. I must make a few more modifications. The kit is not the best, so you must drill out gun barrels and more details like this. The wheels are simplified and made only from two pieces. Therefore, I am separating each wheel and make it more realistic. Unfortunately, I was forced to destroy one series of wheels. But I have a spare parts from the old Revel kit. So, I guess, no problem here. Suppose you want to build something similar in the same scale. You can instead buy a Dragon or New Panther from Vespid models. You will save some time and have a better details. The wheels now look better. Primarily I can remove some sections and make tracks destroyed. It is probably overkill for the scale, but the links have a small holes, so if you are painstaking, you can make a few of them. Okay, the painting. It is my first destroyed and burned tank. So, I will experiment a little with the colors and techniques. But basically, I don't have any idea how to paint it. So, let's see what I can do with it. First step is a black primer. I cannot paint all the details around the engine and under the transmission. So, the black makes the deep shading. The second layer is the red brown color. This shade was used as a factory primer. Another step is chipping varnish, because it can be diluted with the water. If you do not have a chipping varnish, you can use a hairspray instead. Ok, the varnish is dry, so the next layer is a white acrylic color. Ok, I am sorry, I lost the footage from scratching the color in the interior, so the same example on the turret. I moisten the color with the water, and this way the base varnish will dissolve and the paint is peeling off. All these effects are only about layers. Therefore the next layer is black after the smoke and fire. This paint is not acrylic but enamel, and that is because you can dilute it with the thinner even after spraying, and primarily preserve previous acrylic layers.
the final details I am painting with a paintbrush and oil paint. Sadly, I must cover the majority of the details. I am making final modifications before the final painting, like destroyed fenders and holes after hits. A good trick is to thin down plastic and then shape it. An excellent detail is gear ring for moving turret, so I made a 3D design and printed it in on my Purusha SL1 printer. The resolution is impressive. The 3D design and printed parts are available on my Patreon page with many other bonuses. I am making grill cover from Edart Photo Edge Mesh, and because it is made from metal, you can easily damage it. I am not satisfied with the paint job in the interior, so I decided not to cover it and try more layers. I am spraying the whole model with the dark grass shade and highlights with a light rust. You already know this step, it is again the chipping varnish. Now I am finally painting the tank with a classic camouflage color. The paint job is done, and now is the weathering turn. I am applying on the surface water and with the metal polisher making a peel of color.
I do not use water for the interior, but acrylic thinner instead. You can make a nice mix of the colors and dilute top layers. Burnt surface needs more smoke and dust around. The best for this is a black enamel color. I'm spraying it freely because I can also wipe it out with a thinner without problems. One of the last step is some dust. You can check out some photos of modern burnt tanks or cars for references. I'm using white enamel color, but you can also use dry pigments or oil paints. Faster and more stay forward is to make random splatters then paint each dot separately. Last but not least, I'm painting more rust and shading with the oil wash. And that is all. I started this project a few months ago, but I put it aside many times. It was not a nice build as I expected. However, in the end the result is not the worst. Still, it is only a ruined tank for diorama. So it will be in the grass or road ditch. So next time, the diorama. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Here is the presentation of the finished model. Burn baby burn. Thank you.